Drainage tile has become a huge hot topic this summer because we had such a wet spring and we talked about it at our big field day that we had here just a few weeks ago. It's interesting in South Dakota people look at us and say well man you guys don't get any rain out there why in the world do you need to do drainage Yeah tile? we only get 22 or 23 inches of rain a year and actually in the last uh, couple of weeks well there was about a four day stretch where we had seven inches so we had like a third of our annual rainfall in about four days so that was fun but every spring it seems like we're wet because we're quite a ways north in the United States. We're relatively cool, so it's hard to get rid of a lot of that moisture. Even though we don't get lots of moisture, you can't get rid of it because it's cool. So every year we're planting into wet soils and a lot of our crops get uh, wet feet and they just don't turn out as well, especially in some of the low grounds, along the waterways, and even into the side hills. It's kind of strange, guys will get stuck going up these hills Right in the side hills, there's water that's coming out of those side hills. And we want to take care of that and do a better job farming. So that's why we're adding drain tile. Well, when you think about drainage tile, I guess it's just important to understand what's going on. What we're looking at is perforated hose that's buried deeper in the soil, anywhere from uh, two to six feet deep. And some, some guys that I've talked to have it much deeper than that. But for the most part, you're looking at, at somewhere in the three to six feet depth with this hose as you're moving through the field. Well, it's not really a hose because it's it, it's relatively firm. And the, the thing with this tile is we're trying to let in the excess water that's in the soil. We don't want to take all the water out of the soil, but when you have soils that are completely saturated, uh, let me first talk about the environmental side of it. When you have a soil that's completely saturated, just think of this. When rain falls, where does it go? Well, if your soil is completely saturated, it can't go anywhere. What happens is it runs off the field carrying with it fertilizer and chemical and soil and all of those things are bad environmentally. We're trying to do something good for the environment here by having drain tile. What it does is it takes excess water out of the soil and it allows soil to do its job. So when rain comes, it can actually seep down through the soil and any chemical or fertilizer that might be with it gets filtered out. In fact, we even did some water quality tests coming right out of our drain tile this spring. And guess what? We had basically drinking water quality coming right out of the drain tile and the tile was only about three feet deep in the ground. So if you allow the soil to do its job, it can do a great job of filtering out those contaminants. But if we don't get rid of that excess water in the soil, we end up with erosion and we end up with runoff of chemicals and fertilizer. Well, as we talked about before, with seven inches of rain in a very short period of time, you know, in those kind of situations, there isn't a whole lot that you can do because there's only so much that your soil can handle ever. But, you know, when you're getting periodic rains throughout the year, you're getting an inch here, a couple inches there, a half inch here. When your soil can work off some of that moisture and let away the excess, so your soil still has a full capacity of water, but it's just letting off the excess. Now that next time we get some rain, your soil is able to hold most of that so you don't have a flood every time you get some rain. And this is a real challenge, especially with certain soil types. When you get into some heavier clay soils, they hold water pretty tight. And if you don't get rid of some of that excess moisture, it's going to be really difficult in some areas of the field to ever get any yield. It may be your best fertility part of the ground, but it's just a little bit lower. And if you can't get rid of that excess moisture, your crop has these wet feet for a couple of weeks in a row. And all of a sudden, wow, for a couple of weeks, there's no crop out there that's going to stay with wet feet that long. Well, once again, we did get our own tile plow last fall. The reason why we got the plow we did, there's nothing real special about the plow. It's the guidance system that's so unique. It's a brand new system, and the, the company we got it from is called Soil Max out of Indiana. The nice thing about this, it runs off RTK auto steer on our farm, but you can use any, any type of uh, GPS system that you want, and it will work. And it also has a slope sensor. So with these things, we don't have to use lasers anymore. We can simply Simply drive the path we're going to tile and then we come back drop the plow in the ground and the computer controls it it's awesome it's fast it's easy it's simple we had never done our own tiling before on our farm but now we have a way to do it even more accurately than you'll find most custom tilers can do it we're really excited about it it's a great thing we're already experiencing yield gain on our farm and we're looking forward to getting a whole bunch more tile in the ground this fall well drainage tile can definitely improve yields and so can weed control we'll show you our weed of the week coming up next <laughs> 